when 1.19 first came out, I captured the warden, and I even got a pet frog. So following that same pattern, I want an allay. So today, we're gonna find some allays, rescue them, and build them their own allay city. All in Minecraft hardcore. Now to do this, we gotta go on a big adventure. Allays only spawn in a pillager outpost or a woodland mansion, which are both kind of hard to find. So we're gonna need a lot of food and a lot of fireworks. Let's get to work. So I grabbed some golden carrots, crafted some fireworks, and got some leads for the allays. I think leads will work. Fingers crossed. But okay, the journey begins. Let's go try and find ourselves a pillager outpost. And as I begin my quest, please subscribe and hit the bell. Ooh, hello there. Not what I'm looking for, but a pretty cool pit stop. Well, hello, mangrove swamp, but still no pillager outpost yet. Oh my goodness, that is impeccable timing. I cannot believe that just happened. Well, hello. Is there any allays here? Oh, that's a torch. Anything in there? That's a golem, I think. Ah, be free. Help me fight. Come on, come help. What are you waiting for? You're the worst mob ever. But where are the allays? They should be somewhere inside of here trapped. Hello. Housekeeping. Ooh, protection four. I'll take it. Ah, just iron golems. Okay, this is a dud. Yeah, get him. Get him. Well, okay, you guys have fun there. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, snap. Look where we are. Our warden jail. And they're still there. That's awesome. I had no idea I was this close. Look at him. So cute. Never mind. It's dark. But after all the pit stops, we eventually found our target. Aha! Another one. Come on, baby. Show me some allays. Anywhere? Hello? Oh, come on. Not again. Watch this. <gasps> oh, we found them. No golems in here. Just allays. Hello, children. How you doing? Are they children? They look kind of small. But how you guys doing? Oh, you're so cute. Yes, come with me. Get on my leash. Come here. No, no, come back. Don't you dare shoot. Don't do it. Whoa. Don't hurt my friends. Well, I guess that was the hard part. Now I just gotta get these guys home. But oh no, I was wrong. It's actually very hard to transport these guys. I wonder, can I fly with them? Oh, oh, no, it didn't work. And let's just say running through a field of angry mobs is not very fun. This is gonna be so annoying, isn't it? Ah, oh, stop it. This is so annoying. Leave me alone. So you know what? Let's skip past all the gamer rage footage. Guys, this is so frustrating. They're so hard to move, but we must carry on. Right, Mr. Pig? He agrees. On we go. Yes, I see something. We're getting close to home. Come on, boys, keep going. All right, we're back in the general area. And for the time being, I'll put these guys in the circus, because why not? Stay there. I lost one. These guys are the worst. There, consider yourselves rescued. I'm a hero, I know. Don't mention it, ungrateful children. But now that we have some allays, it's time to build them their own home. And I actually had a few different ideas for it. I thought about making a giant allay statue or like a big mansion, but in the end, I decided to make them their own little mini city. And the cool thing about this city is I'm gonna make it inside of a glass dome. Because after all, I don't want the allays flying away. That would be annoying. But okay, we have the game plan. Let's get to work. I'm gonna need a lot of glass. That's not a lot of glass. Okay, we have some work to do. So I grabbed my shulker box to go collect some sand, but I realized it would probably be smart to breed my allays first, just in case one of them died somehow. So I made some cookies and went to breed them. Okay, you have them. Eat them. Breed. Isn't that how you breed them? Am I going crazy? Achievement. Sure. Have an allay deliver items to you. Nice, but I want them to breed. Hold on, I'm gonna Google it. And then it hit me. You can't breed allays. Guys, I'm not happy. Oh, I messed up. So eventually we did have to go find more allays, but first I wanted to start this city build. That's priority number one right now. So off I went to go get that sand. Ah, the beautiful sandy beach. I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff. Hello, bunny, how you doing? Next up, I needed to smelt all the sand into glass. So I went down to the mine and got a bunch of coal. Ooh. I was not paying attention. Well, now it's time to turn all this sand into glass. Nothing more satisfying than this. Um, hello? Why are you in a block? Uh-oh. Never mind, sorry. And this should be enough. So now it's time to start constructing the glass dome. Where should it go? Maybe somewhere back here where I haven't built much before. Sure, why not? Let's get to it. So first off, we did some terraforming to turn this area into a nice custom hill. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? What do you got for me? Nothing too good. Oh, we despawn. No. What a shame. But we carried on, finishing up the terraforming job, and then starting work on the glass dome itself. So much glass, but we're done. And let's see it. Oh, that is wonderful. A glass dome fit for a king or a family of allays. Let's go. Hello, children. How you doing? Come on with me. I got a special place for you. You're gonna love it. Oh my gosh. I love the custom rock wall. It makes it look so like immersive and like grand. So cool. And we open it up and here we go. Look at the size of this bad boy. This thing is huge. And you guys can be free and 
Enjoy yourselves, don't despawn. I am kind of curious, how do you guys actually work? If I give you a block and I throw something down, I think he'll bring it to me, right? This could be really helpful in like a redstone farm or something like that. But don't you guys worry, you're about to be living a life of luxury. Let's go build them a city. So since the laser blue, I wanted the whole city to look blue. So my first idea was to replace all the grass with light blue concrete powder. Now, how do you make concrete? I like never craft it ever. I think it's sand and gravel. And boom, light blue concrete powder. And let's see how this looks. Okay, yeah, I kind of like this. Well, it's settled. What are you doing down there? Oh, he's getting the grass blocks for me. What a hero. Oh my God, that's so helpful. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. I already love them. But this dome is really big, so I had to go get a lot more blue concrete as well as go to the nether to get some glowstone. Can I land it? Oh, I'm so good. He's so talented. Can we not? Kind of busy today. Thanks. I then used my glowstone and my extra concrete to finish up the base of the dome. Beautiful. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I think they do. But that was the easy part of the build. Now it's time to dive in and think about how we're going to turn this dome into a city. So I hopped in a separate creative mode world, popped on my nerdy glasses, and began experimenting with different kinds of builds. Now since we're going with the LA theme, I tried to use only blue building blocks. This is going to be kind of challenging. This is not the best block palette. Oh dear. Well, we gotta make it work. So at this point, I started sketching out a rough floor plan of where I want things to go using color-coded wool. Okay, I kind of have a vision now. The only issue is the houses can't be too big because the LA's are tiny. So I gotta be very careful of the scale of things. And after some practice, I felt pretty confident. So it was time to go back into hardcore. And for this city, I've decided I'm gonna be mostly using warped wood, a little bit of prismarine, and a tiny dash of light blue wool. But anyways, the first build I want to do in the city is like a nice kind of town hall, like centralized grand building for all the LAs. And I think I have a pretty cool design for this too. All right, first things first, I gotta get a lot of warped wood, because back home I have like none. Ooh, I can use some of this block too. I like this. And I think we're good. I then grabbed some prismarine, some light blue wool, and flew back to start building the town hall. And what do we think about this? I honestly like it a lot. I think it's not overly complicated, but you know, we got the LA face, we got the right colors, it's not too big, and the inside looks pretty cute. So I would say for our purpose, this will do just fine. Oh my goodness, it's not even centered. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, I'm so dumb. But carrying on, I started making some beautiful little townhouses for the LA citizens to stay in. I then picked some blue flowers to make the LA's some little gardens, all while keeping the blue theme. And to top it all off, we used wool and warped blocks to make a beautiful custom road for the LA city. And okay, this place is looking really good. It's cute. It's coming to life. I love the vibe of the place. I still gotta do some of the interiors for these buildings. And there are still some empty spaces like back over here, but all in all, we're like 90% done here. But before we finish the build, I do gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 5,000 likes, I would spend five minutes in an ancient city with no totem. And oh my gosh, you guys destroyed it. It wasn't even close. So thanks so much for all the support. But that being said, it's time to go risk our lives for the warden. Oh dear. So if I can't use a totem, what can I use? Definitely some golden apples. I got nine of them, sure. Ooh, buckets of milk too. Some more fireworks. And I think that's everything. Oh, and snowballs. Cannot forget the snowballs. Sweet, let's go. So I flew thousands of blocks away to go find the ancient city. Uh, I think I'm lost. Hold on one second. I'm looking for a mesa bike. Oh, well, I'm going the wrong way. On we go. Oh, side note, this is a really cool place to build. I'll be back there one day. Oh, hey, pillager outpost. Oh my gosh, that guy's still going at them. It's been like three days, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> That's so funny. But eventually, we did find the city. Aha, the warden statue, which means underneath here is an ancient city. Oh boy, it's time. But here's the rule. I can't just hide in a corner the whole time. I have to be actively looking for loot. Here we are, and there it is, the ancient city. Just gonna hop inside here carefully and okay we're in let's start the timer okay three two one timer started let's go totem out of my hand okay here we go i gotta be careful no shriekers around me but i really want to find some cool loot like the new enchantment Ooh, don't alert anybody curse of binding no uh oh shriekers up there gotta be super sneaky here oh no keep going just get away get away get away oh there's mob heads here that's so cool Oh, the war 
Titans here. Hit the chest quick. What do we got? Oh, shards. Echo shards. That's cool. Fortune. S Sneak swift. I'm in trouble, but I got the enchantment. Oh, dear. That was tight. No, wait. I hear two. I hear two wardens. I don't know what to do. Okay, I don't hear them much anymore. Just let me up here, please. I saw a chest up here somewhere. Sneak swift again. Disc fragments. What's that? That's new to me. Wait, really? That was it? That seemed so short, but okay, guys, we did it. Let's go. Nice. With that being said, let's raise the stakes. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I will make a gigantic army of iron golems and bring them down to fight the warden. It's gonna be a gigantic war. But carrying on, I did want to keep looting because there were some chests that I missed. Oh, hello. More chests. Oh my gosh, he's back. Ooh, enchanted golden apple. Thank you very much. And then things went horribly wrong. Is this ice? What the heck is this? Oh, it's a trap. It's a trap. Nope, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I really want to take these note blocks though. Take them quick. Ooh, he's right there. All right, I'm out of here for sure now. Have a nice life. Oh man, that was terrifying. But after all that drama, I flew back home. Home sweet home. Now, first things first, I gotta go into my library to do some enchanting. Where's my anvil? I gotta see what Swift Sneak actually does. Take off my pants. That sounds weird. Pop them in here and throw on Swift Sneak 3, which is right there. And let's try it out. Sneak. Oh my goodness, we whip. We go so fast. <laughs> I love it. But that also means I gotta make a new barrel to store my Swift sneaks and boom swift sneak perfection and if you guys do recall i did want these note blocks for a very specific reason i heard there's a pretty cool achievement with the alays you can get so i guess i place this down and give them a cake alays where are you hey right there take the cake now drop a cake right there and i'll ring this and he should go pick up that and put it here yes birthday song. Have an LA drop a cake and a note block. Yes, sir. Oh, that was sweet. Okay, well, now that we got our achievements, it's time to go finish off the LA city. So very simply, I just added a few more builds to cover up all the empty spaces. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. This is the entire LA city finished and perfected. And I absolutely love it. It looks so lively and amazing. Like, it really does look like a mini city. But at this point, I still wanted more citizens to make the city come to life. So we flew back out to go find Find more lays. Ooh! Oh my gosh, that was so quick! Anybody here? No! As a matter of fact, I probably already found this one before because it's right near my house. I only flew like 400 blocks. Ooh! Maybe not goat horn. I have not used these things before. I didn't know you could do that. All right, the trip was worth it. On we go. Aha, my luck continues on. Any cages in this one? Oh, I don't see anything. You can't be serious. Oh, man. Oh, another goat horn. Let's hear it. That was awesome. I love this one. Goat horns aside, I could not find any more outposts. But on the plus side, I did find out some pretty helpful information. It turns out on the next Minecraft update, they're gonna make a way to breed a laze using amethyst crystals, I believe. And it's probably gonna come out pretty soon. So if that's the case, we can wait and be patient and breed these guys another day. Because I really don't want to keep searching for outposts. But I am curious, how are the birds doing? Charlton, Broderick, and of course, how is JJ? Where's JJ? Did he escape? Where is he? Code red. Oh no, I don't see him. Wait, JJ, why are you over here? You big dumb idiot, come back to your home. Well, as a matter of fact, you're probably gonna jump out again, so I gotta make you a new home. Stay there. Operation, make JJ a home. Okay, this thing looks totally awesome. I love the vibe of it, but I also gotta be careful because I think JJ can technically still kind of parkour out of here. So fingers crossed he's too dumb to realize it. But okay, JJ, let's go to your new home. You're gonna love it. Come on in here, JJ. And what do you think? Yes, he loves it. He's hopping around. I really don't trust him to stay in here. But oh well, I already built him a home, so he has to... JJ, please cooperate. But all right, guys, I'm going to end it here. So make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.